So I'm going to show you two methods to sidechain, to get a clean sidechain without any clicks, just using Ableton plugins. So the first uh, method is using envelope follower and utility in combination. So I've got uh, some MIDI, MIDI drums here, a drum rack with a kick. And I grouped the kick so that uh, any, anything I put in this uh, chain here will be triggered by the same MIDI. So you can just right click and do group and you'll get this. So I've got my actual kick sample and then I've got a trigger, which is a very short white noise. So it's a clean sidechain trigger. Um, so first you need a, a note length MIDI device. 10 millisecond length. Okay, then an operator. And I've just got one oscillator here set with white noise looped. Okay. And then finally a utility with mute because we don't actually want to hear the white noise. Okay, so the next thing is to take an envelope follower from Max for Live. And I created an audio track here where I can route um, any tracks that I want to be sidechained into. So this is, this is the pad or the, the synth that I want to sidechain. So I set the output of there to sidechain and now that's being routed through here. So on here, we need to add a utility. And we're gonna link the envelope follower to the gain on this utility. So come back to the envelope follower, click map, click gain. So now that that's linked. Next, we need to change these uh, parameters so that um, this is 50, which is zero decibels on the gain, and then zero, which is uh, if the gain is infinite uh, silence. 100 would be 100% to the right on full volume. So um, I'm going to actually set this to 20 because I don't, for, for the purpose of this song, I don't want the sidechain to be too aggressive. And same with the gain. So that's going to act like your threshold on a normal sidechain compressor. It's the amount. And fall is like the decay. So again, I'm just going to set that to 20%. So let's have a listen and uh, please forgive my laptop if it crackles, if the buffer overloads. Okay, so you could see the gain moving and you can make further adjustments here. The song, by the way, is called Bale and it's by Anatu. Um, so the other thing I want to show you is, oh yeah, you'll, you'll notice that there's no click in this side chain, um, which is a problem people often get, even with products like Gatekeeper and um, Volume Shaper, there can be a little click on the attack, but for some reason using this way, it's, it's smooth and there's no need for any look ahead to prevent that. So I'm going to get rid of this and... show you a, a multi-band rack where you can control three different bands um, of frequencies using the same sidechain trigger. So um, you need to make a rack containing three different multi-band dynamics and then you solo each different band. So here's the low, mid and high. And I've created macros for the crossover points here and here so that they can be controlled across all three um, multiband devices. So the fastest way to do that is actually to make one multiband first, create the macros and then duplicate it in here and it will already be set up with these macros. Um, and then 
after after the multibands again there's three identical compressors where i've linked the release to here for all of them so that you can keep the release the same and the knee and notice how there's a 10 millisecond look ahead here and a 10 millisecond attack that's to get rid of any clicks um, because if you if you think about it if it if the compressor is triggered 10 milliseconds early with a 10 millisecond attack it's going to be at its lowest point uh, the ducking is going to be at its lowest point when it hits zero so it's going to be a smooth duck and i'm using rms with infinite ratio um, i just find it has more you have more control that way when you just adjust the threshold so each of the thresholds for the high mid and low are separately controlled by these macros so i'll just play the track and um, all of these compressors are again linked to that same trigger pre-fx if you do it post mixer you're gonna not have the signal come through because of the utility which we muted so you need to do pre-fx Okay, so you can hear again, it's a clean side chain. You have a lot of control and you can control the different bands. So a lot of times you don't necessarily want the highs to be side chain. You just, you, you're more interested in the very low frequencies. So you could use it like this, for example. Uh, yeah, it just depends on your taste. Um, and then lastly, you can, you can use the other method with the envelope follower and the utility in the same way. All you would do is switch out these compressors for three different utilities. And then in here, you would take uh, your envelope follower, you would group it, you would make three of them and you would use, you would map each one to a different gain so that your three bands are being controlled. And then you could make a macro here with, uh, with the decay, link all of them to that same macro. And then you can control the decay of all the bands in the same way. So I hope that's useful. And if you have any questions, I guess put them in the uh, description.